Aquaba, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mel and Mishy, and today, today we have some unwelcome talents on my forehead. Is that fire? That's a lot. It'll burn slow. No one hate if you're like, you know, I'm pregnant. Like, it's more than usual for me, and you know, like, you know yourself best. So yeah, we're gonna sort that out today. I'm kind of late on the bandwagon. I'm sure you guys have heard all about turmeric and its amazing qualities, but I've never tried this in a face mask before. I thought I'd do a little experiment this week, um, doing a turmeric face mask every single day for a week and seeing how it reacts with my temperamental skin. Okay. So I was doing some research online about like the best kind of turmeric face mask because there's quite a lot of, sorry, free fly, I struggle. The best kind of turmeric face mask for me right now, um, currently my skin is more on the dry side for some reason. So I've selected the ingredients that will give me like the most hydrating face mask as well as delivering the amazing qualities of turmeric. So for that reason, obviously the first ingredient that I'm gonna use is ground turmeric. Next. Um, you're gonna use some honey. Honey is really great because it's a natural humectant so it draws moisture from the air to your skin and it also has um, antibacterial qualities so great for acne. And the final ingredient, this is like the, the thing for dry skin, um, is extra virgin olive oil. That's just gonna hydrate my face again and make it very lovely and subtle and soft, so yeah. I'm just gonna use the back of the spoon and we're gonna put this face mask on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave this on 15 minutes. Please don't wear something you like when you do these face masks because I don't know if this is gonna come out, but let's pray. I'll see you in a second. Verdict so far, yeah, my skin feels quite nice and soft um, and a little bit more plump, I would say. What I will say though is it stains your skin, but I am about to hop in the shower, so I'm not too fast. I probably will go in with my like normal face wash. So yeah, we'll try this again tomorrow um, and I'll see you guys then. Hi guys, this is day two of this very spicy experiment and the Tenant on my forehead is still not paying rent and is refusing to be evicted. So let's see what today's face mask does. So I'm definitely not looking as cute today, but this is all for the sake of the experiment. So don't come at me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good. Hopped out the shower washed off the face mask. And I have spritzed my face with um, toner just because I was really scared that it would dry out, but it's actually feeling quite nice. Um, my skin definitely is looking very bright. Obviously, the unwelcome tenon is still present, but we're gonna give him a few more days to leave, you know, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, this is day two, see you tomorrow. Okay, so this is day three. You already know what time it is. So we're gonna leave this on for 15 and then I'm gonna hop in the shower, have a shower, wash it off and come back in a bit. Okay, so I've just come out the shower again um, and this is kind of what we've got. Yeah, our skin again feels really lovely and soft. Very, very radiant. Only thing I will say is, I don't know if you got if it can pick up on the camera, but I've got a couple of dry patches here. However, I do get eczema, um, like patches of eczema on my face, and like, ugh, I get allergies all the time. Um, so it might be that, but I've heard this is supposed to be good for eczema, so we'll test that out as well and see how it is. Look, look how glowy I am. The sun is just like in the perfect angle right now, so you can see how like, it just makes my face feel like really bright. See you guys tomorrow. My face is washed. In terms of the pimple itself, there is still a tiny bump, 
but it's really really like reduced in size um yeah i'm impressed i mean definitely it's it's brightened my skin to say the least feels very soft yeah hi guys it's day five and we're doing the same thing again it's dripping off my neck like i feel like it's much more runny than the one i made on the other days but it's fine we're just gonna work with it peace my lips are dry uh full. i just love how glowy i look but yeah really happy day five same thing tomorrow bye okay so this is day six yesterday i had a bit of an allergic reaction if you're currently in the UK, the weather's been really up and down, like I don't really know what's happening. My skin, my eczema, my hay fever always kind of acts up when the weather changes quite drastically very quickly. I didn't film yesterday um, just because I wanted to give my skin and my body a bit of a rest. Um, so please forgive me. Yeah, just thought I would put that disclaimer out there. I'm gonna leave on for 15 minutes and come back. Yeah. This is the face mask all washed up and one thing that I will say is considering I had an allergic reaction yesterday and I didn't even want to touch my face, I do feel really lovely and smooth now. I will see you guys tomorrow. So it's the final day, it's day seven. We're finally here. I just want to put my two cents on the face mask real quick. Literally, when I say my face feels like a clean canvas every single time I use this face mask, like, it's so soft. Also, people have commented on how dewy my skin is, asking me what makeup I'm wearing. I'm just like, I'm not wearing makeup just to work it's definitely an amazing face mask for those two reasons in terms of the hyperpigmentation it has said a little bit from when i initially filmed obviously i didn't use lemon in my face mask which is really high in vitamin c and zimic so it's going to help lighten <laughs> dark marks but i knew that with the lemon and yogurt concoction it kind of dries out your skin right now my skin's on more on the dry side apart from my nose which is like forever shining i'm sure if you use maybe that face mask it would have helped with the hyperpigmentation a bit more but i just wanted to make my skin really lovely and brightened and it's made it soft as well so yeah the sun and the clouds are playing with me so i'm just gonna wrap this up real quick definitely a face mask worth trying if you want something brightening and softening that's the end of the seven day experiment i hope you guys find it informative don't forget to me love my channel don't forget to like comment subscribe bye <laughs>